Happy Friday everyone, I'm Julian and this is Libby and together we make up Box Meeples. Well, for this time on Favourite Game Friday we are talking about absolutely essential expansions you need if you like a game. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Scythe this week. Um, I mean, we have all of the expansions. Uh, one of them is adding airships. One of them increases player count and things. Um, and that's probably the one that we play most yeah. often um, just because I think Scythe is one of those go-to games when you've got a larger group most people tend to know it of our, all of our friend, friendship yeah, they group all know. So. Um, so it's an easy one when there's you know more than the four or five of you to come yeah. but the one I think that we enjoyed the most and is most exciting for us is Rise of Benris well this is a campaign one and it was our first real yeah, campaign I, yeah. as a couple I, I think, think so, that yeah. we did so we played it two player um, and, and you sort of choose a faction at the start and start working your way through that campaign you might switch up factions mm -hmm. as you go along different things happen a few secret scroll things won't say too <laughs> much um but it does give you at the end of that it does give you the opportunity to sort of switch in some different boards some different ways of victory all sorts of modular bits and pieces but it was a really fun little story that we went through with our little clans are they clans in yeah. that um and we just explore that game a little bit more yeah what i really liked is the end result gave us bits we can use for making the two-player game more fun mm -hmm. there's bits you can use for making you know the, the larger player counts more interesting and engaging and yeah there's a lot of stuff in that box which yeah it's all hidden yeah. away so and i there's definitely some memories of when when one or two things happen which i won't talk about too much um uh you were on the sort of the bonus side of something right interesting during that campaign which i'm sure those of you that have played it will know what i mean mm -hmm. um something sort of slightly larger yeah um and and the sort of the revelry that happened here is just sort of one of those gaming memories that's really fun yeah, um, yeah. and i think that's why i like that expansion and i think as a result of playing that i try to avoid <laughs> it. the way i play scythe ever since playing that has yeah. changed so completely yes it had it did change your gaming technique completely yeah um so yeah really i'm really well written uh, i'm sure i like it in a campaign mm -hmm. I'm going to go for a, an expansion for a game that we absolutely love, but we always have to use. So Star Wars Rebellion, we all know how much we love that. Yeah. We talk about it in our top 10 games all, all the, the time. time. But we would never play about Rise of the Empire. It has some characters. They've got some yeah. minor skills. Yeah. It has a, a few more different ships. But let's face it, Rise of the Empire exists to fix the combat in Star Wars Rebellion. Should we say improve? Yeah, improve. fixes it. Because... <laughs> That was always incredibly clunky. It always took ages to roll a million dice. And then you have little cards that really didn't do all that much. <laughs> and the whole experience of Star Wars Rebellion is cinematic. It really, really and cinematic. When it got to the combat, so I was like, oh, I've got to have to do that now. And it always felt a bit anticlimactic. So having the cinematic play still involved in that combat was fantastic it, it certainly does improve it and you know don't get us wrong it's a game that we have loved since first mm -hmm. playing it because of that cinematic feel mostly i would say you know we are star wars fans <laughs> and it's a it's a two-player dive into the movies yeah. game um and so we didn't not like it without it but it it certainly does improve it yeah so yeah, yeah if you ever want to play stars rebellion you should also look about getting yeah, and it's not that much more complicated i it's don't just... think it's one of those games where it's like right okay well, i've got this game if we play it loads and we've kind of done everything there is to do then we'll get the expansion no. and it will give us more to do we'll explore more we'll have different different themes different stuff it's not one of those expansions it it does add more characters and things, but it's really changing how you play the game in that combat scene yeah. in itself. So you don't, yeah, if you have the opportunity to add it, it's not about it's how nice. many times do you get it to the table, is it worth it? It's not that same equation that many yes. many expansions have. It's not, yeah, it's not just adding to the, con, you know, adding yeah. more material, it's just improving it. Yeah. But what campaign games, what expansions do you really love? Do let us know in the comments down below and have mm. you played either of these two? Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. 
And uh, if you're interested in buying games, where's a good place? Of course, you can go to your friendly local game store and we go to ours, which is Chaos Cards here in the southeast of England. And as usual, we do have a discount code in the description. So if you're looking to buy online, then you can use that at the checkout and save yourself a few pennies. It's a new one. So make sure you are using the most up-to-date code. And mm -hmm. if it does say that's expired, make sure you're watching our latest video for the newest code. It should always be in the description. Yeah, remember these codes are one-off uses, but they do change often. So if you remember that you've used it previously, then just keep checking Sit until tight. we get a new one, there'll be a new one on and the then way. there'll be a new discount on your way. And if you're enjoying what we're doing, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, join in the conversation below. But as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.